Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. Today we'll learn an idiom. An idiom that I very often find people go around saying it incorrectly, having no understanding, no comprehension of what the idiom actually means. I'm not talking about grown-up people I'm talking about. I also teach an SAT prep course in addition to GRE, GMAT, SETs and so forth. I also teach SAT and SET prep courses and I've seen many a time young people going around saying to nip something in the butt. There is no such idiom. There is no such idiom. To nip somebody in the butt is something very different. That's called sexual harassment. The actual idiom is to nip something in the bud, B-U-D, bud. In order for us to understand what this idiom means, we first need to understand the meanings of the words that are involved in it, but namely, nip and bud. Let's take a look at them, shall we? One, one at a time. So the correct, correct idiom is to nip something, to nip something, to nip something, to nip something, not it, to nip something, to nip something in the bud. To nip something in the bud. Nip, what does it mean? To nip, nip is a verb. To nip simply means to bite off. To, to bite off. To bite off or to sever or to cut off. If you, if you sever something, you cut something off, you bite something off, you just tear it off, that's called nipping. Well, not tear it off, not tear in that sense. You bite it off. You, you just take it off. You sever it. You cut it. You you no longer connect it to it. You sever it. Nip it. The second part is bud, which of course you know what it means. Bud, bud simply means a beginning, a beginning part of a of a plant or a flower. A beginning part of a plant or a flower. So what does it mean when we use the word to, to, to nip to nip nip in the bird? To nip in the bird simply means to tear off, to sever, to cut off, to bite off the bud. If the bud is the bud is the beginning part of a flower or a plant, it's just the beginning part, the tiny beginning part. If you cut it off the flower will no longer grow. The flower will no longer, the plant will no longer mature. It will not grow. It will not have a chance to become a full grown plant or a flower. Because why? Because you nipped off the bud. You tore it off. How is it going to grow? So what does it mean to nip something in the bud? To nip something in the bud means, let's put it on the top. To nip something in the bud means, to nip something in the bud means to stop something to stop something in the initial stage to stop something in the initial stage before it has a chance to take care of a problem, here's what it means, to take care of a problem, to nip something in the bud means to take care of a problem, to take care of a problem, or if you like, a situation, before it has a chance, to turn into a big problem or or even more or even more serious situation you have a situation 
there is a bad situation, you have a problem on hand, you have a problem on hand, you want to take care of the problem before it has a chance to grow and become an even bigger problem. You want to take care of it right then and there in its, in its initial stage. To take care of the problem right in the initial stage, you nipped it in the bud. You nipped it in the bud, you took the bud and you nipped it. It will no longer grow now. It will no longer grow. You prevented it from growing. You prevented it from maturation. It means to prevent from, it means to prevent from, from, maturation. Let's learn this word, maturation. It's not a word that we typically hear in the ordinary speech. Let's learn it properly. Match, that's the first syllable, match, o, re, shun, it's a noun. Maturation, what does it mean, maturation? Maturation is a noun of, is a noun of, match, o, read, maturate. Maturate is just a very fancy way of saying to mature, to mature or grow. To mature or grow or to ripen if you like or to, to ripen. It, it will no longer ripe, it will no longer ripe, it will, you prevent it from uh, ripening, it will, it, it won't ripen, it won't mature, it won't grow, because you took the bud and you just nipped it, nip it in the bud. End the story. Problem solved. It will no longer grow. The problem will not become bigger problem. I took care of it in the initial stage. You need not worry. You ought not to worry about it. I took care of the problem in its initial stage. It will not turn into a bigger headache. To nip something in the bud, B-U-D. Do you understand? If you want to go around nipping somebody in the butt, that's your problem. As I said, that's called sexual harassment. That's a little bit different. Bye now.